Hi, I'm Steve McNally, and I lead an organization called the Alsa True Folk Assembly, or the AFA. Alsa True is a native European religion. It was practiced by people such as the Vikings, the Anglo-Saxons who eventually moved into England, and by many of the Germanic tribes throughout the European continent. Many of us today practice Alsa True because it gives us a sense of identification with our ancestors, a connection with our past, and we find also that it meets many of the needs that we, just as normal men and women in the 21st century, have in order to, to, to get through our lives. In Alsatru, we have two primary rituals that we use to commune with the divine. One of them is called the Sumbul. In the Sumbul, a drinking horn is filled with honey wine and is passed around the circle of worshipers. Each worshiper then makes an appropriate comment or an appropriate toast. And the idea being to draw up the power from the past, the great deeds of the heroes and the, the feats of the accomplished men and women of our line, so that that power, that spiritual essence can be used today. But today, I'm going to talk about a different rite, a different ritual. This is the bloat. Rhymes with boat, spelled B-L-O-T, the bloat or the blessing. The bloat is a mutual exchange of intangible gifts between ourselves and the holy powers, the gods and goddesses. Gift giving was a very important part of early Germanic society. You made friends by giving gifts. You nourished and encouraged and maintained that friendship by the giving of gifts. Similarly, kinfolk would give each other gifts just as a part of their responsibility to each other. And this is important because it shows also our relationship to the holy powers. We are friends of the holy powers, of the gods and goddesses. We are kinfolk to the gods and goddesses. They are not our masters, we are not their slaves. So it's not like we're there trying to appease them, trying to give them some sort of gift so that they won't bother us, sort of a divine shakedown operation. It's not like that at all. On the contrary, we and the gods are kin and friends. We give gifts to each other because that's what friends do. Well, you may reasonably ask, what sort of gifts can it be that, that the gods give to us? And generally, those come down to things like wisdom, courage, inspiration, spiritual insight, a sense of connection with the divine and with each other and with the world around us, a sense of awe at the amazing natural world in which we live. All of these things, along with the luck that gets one through a hard place, can be the gifts of the gods. So what then do we mere mortals, quotation marks, have to give to the gods. What we give to them is another set of intangibles. We give them our loyalty, which we describe with the archaic word troth. We give them our loyalty, our troth. We give them our spiritual might. We give them our devotion, our remembrance, and our honoring of them. So this mutual exchange is rich. It's something that is beneficial to all the parties concerned. In Alsatru, as it is practiced today, the bloat is not a complicated ritual. It's fairly simple, actually. 